Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be doing a introduction to data packs. A lot of data pack developer YouTubers do this at one point, but this is the first episode out of a hundred, believe it or not. I'm going to try doing a hundred videos on data pack stuff. So this is how you like set up everything, like with the uh, MC meta file and stuff. So let me show you some data packs that I've got. Got in my data packs file. Yeah, I've got some data packs made by other people, some made by me. We've always got your pack.mc meta here. You see, my pack description is obviously right here. You can put whatever, but you just got to make sure your pack format is correct. I mean, it doesn't have to be correct, but it's there. So you can change the description to anything like uh, hamburger. Don't press enter and you save that. So as you can see, you've got the opening bracket number one, and then you've got the word pack after a tab, and you've got this colon, and then you've got another opening bracket, and then you've got your pack format and your description and your two closing ones. If you have any questions, you can probably ask me. I mean, I might not know it, but I will try to figure it out for like a month. So let me get into some th some uh, data pack stuff that has been made though. So as you can see in my hot hand here in my hotbar, I've got this netherite helmet and I've got this hole that I put here earlier. If I jump down and make a opening back here, you can see that it glows. I did the amethyst shard, but you can place it on your head and it glows up there too. You probably can't see very well though. But that's just a data pack somebody decided to make one time. I'm gonna link it in the description. It's a really good one. So let me show you how it works. So basically, you've got to have your uh, your armor trims. Everybody likes armor trims. I think that diamonds are pretty good. Can you even use diamonds on diamonds? I don't know. You need your armor stand, of course. And you need your armor trim. Uh, I'll use the silence. What do they call that? Table. It is a smithing table. So basically, you put your thing on here, and then you get your armor stand. I'm going to go in survival. You place your armor on the armor stand, and then you just glow it. This is a really good data pack. Because it's all in vanilla. And I've still got these lying around. I don't know where those came from. And you can put on your armor. And it's got this really cool effect, but if you're in the dark, then you can see it glowing. Like this. Yeah, it glows. It's pretty good. And it, the best part about this one was that it taught me a lot about shader packs. This one, you don't need any mods installed. So a lot of, re one of the main reasons why you would want uh, data packs instead of mods is because data packs are like pretty easy and you don't have any like any compatibility issues unless you're trying to put one in from like 1.8.
or around there. Oh, not multiplayer, single player. And I've got a whole bunch of data packs that I'd like to show. So for this one, you can get, you can, uh, I think if it's the one I'm thinking of, you can use swords. And I think it is based off this glitchy texture. Then no. I don't know what this one is. One second, let me look in here. Data smithing. Item modifiers. Minecraft tags. Trim materials. It should show me through here. Smithing trim materials. Wow. Trim templates then. And I bet it says smithing trim templates. Yeah. I got no idea what this one is. Let me j I'll probably figure it out later. Oh, oh. It was nothing. And now it says that, so I think it worked. But if it's this one, oh, it is. But I don't have a smithing template. Let me just get some smithing templates. And as you can see, they added smith this data pack adds smithing templates for swords and other tools. I think also crossbows. I'll have all of these data packs linked in the description. You can't even see it on this one. Yeah, it looks the exact same. I mean, it looks less vibrant. Maybe you could see it better with a different one. No, I think that's just broke. It'll probably get fixed in the future. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh no. Something weird happened here. But then they have another data pack. So this data pack is like really cool. You go to options, resource packs. I need to import the resource pack. This is like really cool because if you, you can put your, uh, armor in there and you can like dye it different colors so I'll give it a good example you can also dye it different materials so like if you don't if you want nev if you want to uh, if you like how a uh, netherite armor looks but not like how it's shaped you can use this data pack Where's glass? Oh, here it is. Where is this? Colored blocks? You know, that actually makes sense. But you can also use dye. So I think I like a bit of g lime. And then I can do glass and lime and get a whole set of uh, lime dyed armor. And it's like the coolest armor you can get. Because, I mean, look at this. You got emerald armor. But then you can also do it with this type of material and you can get like this.
Hmm. Oops. I thought that they uh did something better with this one. Oh well. I guess you could just dye your armor, I guess. But if you like like the netherite style, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of these are the same. No, I'm just kidding. These aren't even remotely similar. But, ooh, nice. Uh, huh. Something weird. But you can put them all together and you can get your full set of netherite arm. Does that, why does this look so much better than the diamond armor? Well, that's a couple of data packs. They'll be linked in the description, as I said before, that you can uh, use. And you'll look epic. But that is how you can, those are, that's uh, how you make your first file for data packs. I mean, this one was pretty much just a little side thing. The rest of the 100 videos are probably going to be more in depth about data pack stuff. Like, I know there's definitely going to be some, another video on boss bar stuff. But this was just to show you what data packs can do, pretty much. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, it did work. I just didn't notice. So this actually did work. Wow. This doesn't look good. I like this better. Yeah, as you can see on the side of my screen, I still got that village thing from the other video. It will always be here. So that's this first video. The other 100 are probably going to be better. So you should wait for those. Uh, thank you and goodbye.